Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my first favourites video of 2021. I love filming these so much. They're my favourite videos to film. They're not exactly the most well received videos on my channel. They don't get that many views but I will not stop filming them because I love to film them because I just don't know. I just do. But anyway I need to stop rambling on because I planned this video and I wrote like a massive list of items to talk about so I'm just gonna have to whiz through them all and this isn't just a favourites video it's my feelings favourites and fails so I've got my feelings of the month, favourites of the month and products that have not been so great. If you haven't already grab a cup of tea. This is actually one of my favourites so I'll quickly mention it now. This mug is one of my favourites because it's what my friend Emma got me for Christmas as part of my Christmas present and I love anything like this like it's so cute and it's something that I look forward to having a cup of tea in in the evening so I will always have a tea in this in the evening because I actually look forward to using this throughout the day um, in the evening. So yeah, I thought I would just throw that in there and mention that, but do grab a cup of tea, coffee, hot chocolate, whatever. Just put a cold drink in a mug. That's what I always do. I like drinking out of mugs, so I will put cold drinks in mugs sometime. So yeah, I even have protein shakes in mugs. So first of all, let's look at my list. Okay, so my feelings for the month. I obviously have written down, you know, roughly what I'm feeling and everything. I'm feeling a lot happier and I think that's mainly down to the fact that I'm a lot more organised with my life and also, this sounds this sounds weird, but I feel like I'm getting to know myself a little bit more and it, whenever people say that, I just think, oh God, like, you know, just go. But what I mean is like, I get, you have to kind of do things in life that make you happy and the small things and I'm getting to know what those small things are and just being more like productive in life and getting things done and just knowing when to rest and I don't know I just feel so much happier this is a good month so far and a good start to 2021 I feel a lot happier starting this year than I did starting last year but there is a few differences from last year for example I am two stone lighter because last year I did want to lose weight and this year that's not a goal really I feel like I've got a lion's mane um I'll talk about this hair later on in the video and also this sounds kind of funny but I feel like I'm best friends with myself that is a good thing to do or to say or to be is best friends with yourself because at the end of the day you are with yourself 24 7 so you have to like yourself and your personality and everything and I like literally I would just be in my flat by myself and just burst out laughing at something that I say to myself or something I think or you know I just think I'm just laughing at myself and I'm just like that's good like you should be able to do that I talk to myself all the time and I just treat myself as if I'm somebody else like if you are negative about yourself would you be like that to somebody else probably not hopefully not so treat yourself in a positive way because if you wouldn't treat somebody else like that why would you treat yourself like that so treat yourself like you're your own best friend basically that's basically my feelings of the month in general I've had a good productive month and I'm feeling much happier now for my favorites with hair. So I'm gonna start off and begin with skincare. I have three products to share with you. My first product is this. So this is actually from my shower. This is the Sanctuary Spa, Sanctuary Indonesian Spa Indonesian Sanctuary Spa. I could not read that. Um, basically, it's a shower oil. That's just what it says. It's a shower oil. I've never used shower oils before, and now I've tried one, and I really like it. I thought, like, what the heck, an oil? Like, you have an oil in the shower, and you, what, what is that? Won't it just wash straight off? But no, it actually lathers up quite nicely, and my skin feels so soft after using, like, this particular product. I know the Body Shop has brought out one last year that's kind of similar, but I haven't tried that one. And yeah, I just like how soft my skin feels even after I've come out of the shower. So I really like that. So a little bit of a revolutionary product. I've also got this, which I've tried. This is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. And I did mention this in a beauty haul that I filmed recently, but there's like the... I don't know, the, the solid matter at the bottom and then the liquid at the top and you dip a cotton bud in and you just pop it on specific spots. I have been using this for over a week now and my spots do be reduced like the next day. I obviously have my own tea tree oil and in comparison to my tea tree oil, it is just on the same page in terms of spot reduction. So I have to use this for a little while. But what I love about this is that when I've done my skincare, I will pop this on my individual spots last, obviously. 
and it just looks like you've got all these splodges around your face but I just like that like I'm like yeah I'm going to bed and I've got my skincare on and I just like looking like I've got low like I'm a leopard basically so I don't know I just think this is a favorite for that reason and yeah it does work as a product and then finally for skincare I just wanted to mention this this is my cleansing balm and I wanted to mention it because I recently ran out of this and I think I took for granted how much I like this because I had to use a couple of like facial wipes to remove my makeup my skin was hurting so much when I did that and I just missed the softness of this this is actually a brand new one I've just refilled it today the actual packaging isn't brand new but what's in it is brand new because obviously I'm not gonna you know give myself new packaging when I might as well reuse this but I love this like so much I love the smell in fact that reminds me I need to buy some lemon essential oil um, but yeah because I've run out but yeah I love this and it just melts away your makeup it makes your skin really soft and I just missed it so much so I just wanted to quickly mention that in there I will link my Etsy and my eBay in the description if you're interested also side note the postman came a few minutes ago I opened the door, he wasn't even there, he'd quickly ran off and he was like You're out with this parcel! And I was like, whoa, um, I think I know what this is, so I might just quickly unbox this in this video But I am going to do a separate video with this um, But I think it's these candles I'm being sent from somebody They said they sent them yesterday, so that's pretty quick if it is But I haven't ordered anything else Oh my god, it is as well I won't show you too much because I do want to do a video oh my god that's so nice they sent me a box of candles um from this company so you'll see a video with these next month well not in a month's time but in february next we have makeup so makeup 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 um not got too many things and i'm gonna try and you know rush through them um, but the first thing is this foundation. My friend Steph actually didn't want this and she said um, to me and Emma, is there any bits that you want from this image? And I saw these, uh, this foundation and another shade as well in the image. I was like, oh, can I have that Steph? And I actually love this. I've got it on my skin right now. It's pretty damn good coverage, like compared to any foundations I currently use. This is actually like on par in terms of coverage. And I really like the formula and everything like that. It is could be a little bit cakey but no it doesn't bother me um not really my skin gets a little bit shinier than it normally would with my maybelline foundation but i really like this and i just thought it was worth a mention because i think it's a decent price as well and i actually do like it in terms of coverage i think the coverage for me and the way it blends out really quickly with a beauty blender so yeah love that I then have this blusher. This blusher is from Beauty Bay. I mentioned it in my recent haul. This is in the shade Coral. I, I've got it on today. You can't see it too much, but you know, it's a little bit there. I really love this. I think it's one of those products that um, just makes a massive difference to your face without you knowing. Like if I didn't have this on, I think I would notice, but you can't really specifically see it. It's one of those subtle things. I love the color of this i love the pigmentation of it it blends really nicely and i think for me i wanted to include this because it's a really cheap price for such nice pigmentation and blendability so yeah love this and then a couple of lick lick products don't lick your lipsticks lip products we have a i've just realized i'm pretty much including everything in this video that i had in my beauty haul oops um that's a good sign though lip gloss i've got it on today so if you're wondering what is on my lips it's this lip gloss here from sosu and it's a plumping gloss i just really like glosses in general this is a nice one it's not particularly plumping but i just wanted to mention it in here because it has been something i've been wearing most days this product is going to be in my favorite section of the video and my fail section of the video so you'll be thinking why well stay tuned till the end to see um but i like this so the reasons why i like this is i really love the color of this um it is like a matte lipstick and i love the color it's a nude color as you can see it's in the shade heartfelt and yeah it's just the perfect nude for my particular skin tone and it's just what i've been looking for all this time so yeah i really like that stay tuned to see why i don't like it as much in the fail section of the video 
And finally for makeup, this eyeshadow palette, I've been using it every single day. I've got it on my eyes today. This is the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette. And I won't speak about this too much because I have scheduled a video of me reviewing this palette and using um, like this as an eye look in that video. So just stay tuned for that in February because that will come. But I love the pigmentation of the shadows and the blendability, particularly the pressed pigments. They're really, really nice and pigmented. And yeah, the color range, everything like I love this palette so much and the actual quality and feel of the actual packaging as well so winner winner chicken dinner next up we've got some household items so when I say household I mean things around the house slash cleaning products um, I am an, a cleaning product addict I do deeply apologize to those of you that really could not care less but I just love them okay so first of all we've got disinfectants so we've got like uh, these Fabulosa disinfectant sprays and um, this one I've just basically ran out of there's like a tiny bit left in it but this is a like lemon sherbet one from Fabulosa both of them are from that brand and I use it to spray the surfaces in my kitchen after I've done the washing up just to keep everything nice and clean and antiseptic and everything like that so yeah um, I love so yeah I use that one I really love the smell of this lemon one I would recommend um, but this is the one that I've got as replacement for when that one completely runs out this one I don't know what the actual smell of this is because it doesn't say on the front what the actual smell is but I sprayed this um, the other day to give it a smell and it smells just like a man's deodorant or a man's aftershave and I, I'm a bit confused by that because this is a cleaning product it's not a spray for like putting on yourself I, it just doesn't make sense to me so my kitchen just ends up smelling of men's deodorant and I just find that really confusing so I'm not a hundred percent sure on this one but I'm more than happy to use it because I just love using it and spraying it and it's a nice bottle and it keeps the surfaces clean but when it comes to the smell it's just a little bit confusing so I just thought I would mention that next up we have the most exciting thing you have ever seen toilet blocks um these are toilet blocks that you put in the back of your toilets so like in the cistern section and it makes your water green so when you flush the toilet green liquid comes out i'm obsessed with that like i love flushing the toilet now because it's like a green color and it's just so much more fun and it just encourages me to flush the toilet a lot more because you know when you just sometimes forget but yeah i love these and you know they last a decent amount of time it was only one pound for six anyway so it's you know cheap stuff but i really am you know a huge fan then we have carpet foam this is from fabulosa again the same company that makes these and this is amazing i've tried carpet foam from a different brand not so keen it didn't come out and didn't spray very well this is a nice big bottle and the spray like it, it sprays foam in a nice way it doesn't get clumpy it just you know covers the carpet nicely and it keeps a really nice strong smell on the carpets keeping them fresh i spray this once a week on my carpets after i've hoovered because i hoover once a week and yeah i really love this the only problem is it just sometimes gets to the back of my throat like it just like is a bit strong so it makes me choke a little bit um but you know we, we won't worry about that too much because it's making things fresh but love this <laughs> i love this this is something i've never used before i saw it in Gemma louise's video i'll talk about her later in the video sneak peek but she has like an absolute ton of these in her cupboard of different scents and god knows what and i thought well i'm not going to get loads i'm just going to get one and then use it up this is the Zaflora Concentrated Disinfectant and this is the pink grapefruit one. The packaging looks a lot more exciting than the actual bottle. <laughs> um, but basically I take a cap full of this, I put it into my washing up bowl and add some boiling water. I then leave the steam from the boiling water to kind of, you know, just steam the house. And it just smells so amazing in my flat because the steam is just traveling around the flat. And it, it does, it smells so good. And then I take a cloth after it's cooled down after about half an hour and I just wipe all of my surfaces with this to disinfect them and make them smell nice. Sorry, my camera cut out. And then finally for kind of like householdy, cleany bits, we've got these. These are from Lidl and I wanted to give them a mention because they're not exactly the most exciting things. They are room sprays, um, but they're amazing. They're really good value for money. This one is in a scent cotton and the spray of it is amazing. Like 
I'll try and show you. Whoa, like it, it, it travels. I could stand at one end of the room and it will reach the other. It's so strong. The smell of it's so nice as well and it lasts for a long time. And I just think these are excellent value for money and they're just in a cute little thing and it's just fun to use. Like I would highly recommend. So if you go into Lidl, get some of these, just please. So yeah, this is the cotton one. And once that's completely run out, I have a backup, obviously. I've got to have backups. This is cherry blossom and peony. Is that how you, how you say it? I think so. Oh no, this one's from Tesco's. Oh my God. That one's from Lidl, this one's from Tesco's, but they look exactly the same. Let's compare. Oh God, they're basically the same, okay. Oh, different scents, but the same. So yeah, Tesco or Lidl, whatever. Now for a few randomy bits and bobs. First of all, my hair. I love doing this to my hair, as you can see. Um, if you watched my previous video, I had my hair in plaits and it looked a little bit silly. Well, this is the result. It gets nice and wavy when you take the plaits out. It's all volumized. For me, it's not the waviness, it's the volume. I love the volume. It just, I just, I just like it, okay? So I've been doing this quite a lot and that's one of my favorites. It's doing this. I put eight plaits in my hair at night, leave it in overnight, slightly damp, and then in the morning it looks like this. You have to kind of brush through it with a brush though to get it to be proper volumized, but I love it. I love doing it and I would recommend if you don't have the most volumized hair. Then we have wax melts. Where are you? Here they are. Um, this is just wax melts I purchased off Amazon, just a couple of pounds. This is in the scent candy cane. I really like the smell of it. It's got little glittery bits in it as well. I've just popped some of this in my wax burner on top and it's just been nice scent in the room and I just like the look of little wax burners because they've got the candle and then they've got like the wax melting on top. If you watch my vlogs when I do them, which I haven't vlogged this year so far, um, I will include this in one of my vlogs just to show you. Then we've got books, a book. I was gonna include the Caroline Hyren skincare book, but I am gonna speak about that in next month's favorites because things, I didn't include everything in this video because it's gonna to be too long, so I've split my favorites for this month into this month and next month. But I've got this book, which my friend Steph got me for Christmas. This is called The Hopes and Dreams of Libby Quinn. I finished it now. I literally finished this book yesterday and I'm really proud of myself. It's only, nearly the end of January, basically when you're seeing this, the end of January, and I finished a book already, and last year I swear I didn't even read one, so I'm really pleased with myself. I really enjoyed reading this book, I read about a chapter a day, but towards the end you just want to know what's happening, so I read about three chapters per day towards the end, and I really like this book, and I would recommend it, it's like a nice gentle one to read, and nothing, you know, traumatising happens, because I hate, I would hate to read something where traumatising things happen, because I'm just like, I just don't want to hear about it, but I really like this book and I would recommend, so that's a favourite. Then we have resistant bands. This video is so random with things. Um, I have got these resistance bands for Christmas, also from Steph, thank you Steph. And there's many different sizes in here. I decided that I would use a different size per week. So week one, I used the light resistance band, week two, the medium, week three, heavy, and I'm now on week four, which is the extra heavy one, which is this one here. And then next week will be extra, extra heavy. So I love resistance bands. I did not realize how much I would enjoy using them. This one in particular is more like my kind of strength um, for my legs in particular, because your legs are a lot stronger than your arms. And I'm getting some muscle. Like that's my aim for this year is to get some muscle. So I just wanted to mention these because also the quality of them is really nice. I felt resistance bands um, that Jamie has that are just, no offense, just not the greatest. Um, they, they're a bit rubbery and they just stick together like, like that. Whereas these are just nice and they just feel nice and they're nice, good quality. So I just wanted to mention those because they've really um, been used a lot. <laughs> and finally, for kind of random favorites, I have my Pandora bracelet. I showed this in one of my videos, my what I got for my birthday, um, but it didn't have the charms on them. So I have like a little robot charm here. You probably can't see too well, but I have a little robot charm here, which is so cute. A little bee charm. Um, I think he's upside down. This dream catcher and then a love heart, which is like round on this side, it's hard to show. 
Um, so yeah, those are my charms. I don't think I'm going to get any more charms um, anytime soon because they obviously are really expensive, but I'm super happy with that and I wear it every single day. I love it. Now for food favourites, I've just got a couple of items. Oh my god, my foot is so, 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 <gasps> my foot's dead. I was going, I was going past the, um, the threshold of sitting on your foot and now my foot is not happy with me. Can I just sit like this and do the video? I'm just stood on my feet, maybe I can. Yeah, let's do the food section, just stood like this. Um, I do apologise. Um, we have the caramelised red onion chutney from M&S. Love this stuff, honestly, love it. Um, nearly finished the jar. Oh yes, let's eat some of that. Like I could literally just eat the jar. I love this. I'm definitely gonna get some more of this from like Lidl or Tesco. Um, but my mum did get me it in a little hamper for Christmas. So love this. And then vintage cheese. Oh yeah, featuring this little guy. Um, he's a little clip to keep it sealed. And um, this is just from, this is just vintage cheddar cheese. This is, um, I purchased this from Morrison's, but I know it's sold in Tesco's as well. And I love vintage cheese, it's a really strong flavour. If you like really strong cheeses, you will also like this. So yeah, love this. And I just wanted to mention it in my like food section of the video. So that is it for food. Now moving on to YouTubers slash programme favourites. So I will just choose one YouTuber favourite. I mentioned her earlier in the video when I was talking about Sephora, but Gemma Louise, I love her channel. I will link it in the description. She does the most coziest videos ever. And she does clean with me videos. She does um, massive long vlogs. Like if a YouTuber posts that I'm not so keen on, but I still like watching them, posts a video that's longer than 25 minutes, I'm like, oh for goodness sake, like this is ridiculous. If she posts a video that's less than 40 minutes, I'm like, where, where is she? What, what is going on? I need more. Um, she posts like hour long vlogs and I literally am hooked the whole way through. I just love everything that she does. She's just nice and her videos are aesthetically pleasing and it's just, she's similar to me in terms of how she wants to live her life and like she gets really excited by the small things and she likes to write lists and organisation. So if you're like that, then go and check her out. Programme favourite that I've been watching on Netflix. It's not new at all. The Big Bang Theory, I've been watching that every single day basically when I eat my lunch and when I have my tea in the evening. That's what I will watch and I just love it. I did not realise how many episodes there are and I've not seen them all before. I've seen loads of them before but nowhere near all of them and I've been going from episode one all the way through and I don't know what series I'm on now but I've still got loads to go, I know that for a fact. So yeah, loving Big Bang. So that's everything for my favourites. Now for my fails, I'm just gonna rush through very quickly. Ah, yes. Hi, just had to get it out the drawer. Um, this blusher, which is not very pigmented anymore, when I first got this, which was from Lidl, I loved it, it was nice and pigmented, but as the time's gone on, it's just, there's no pigment there anymore, like there's nothing there, and it just doesn't show up on my skin. Um, if you compare it to the one that I've just bought, that I love, they're quite a difference in colour as you can see. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd say that's a little fail because the pigmentation just went. It was good when I first got it, but it just disappeared. Then we have this lipstick, which I mentioned in my favorite section of this video. Um, the fail part of this product is I was using the lipstick, next minute the whole thing fell out. Literally, I had to shove it back in. Like if I push that, yep, it will come straight back out. So it obviously isn't the most sturdy of little guys because it just snapped off. But even the most expensive of lipsticks still do that because I've seen it in YouTubers videos. Even though YouTubers aren't the most careful when it comes to products and things. Like I swear some YouTubers managed to get through like eight different cameras in a year. And I'm like, how do you break that many cameras? I've had this Canon G7X, the Mark I, for like three or more years and I've still not broken it and not even close. Please don't jinx this, please don't break camera. Please, please, I beg you. I've realised I should not have said that, especially as it's looking right at me right now. Um, and then also a slight fail is I bought this ring, which I do love off Amazon. I just wanted a nice chunky ring just because I just wanted to wear one ring. Um, and it's too big, like that will, no, it doesn't even fit on my thumb, it's so big. It only came in one size, like was it expecting everyone in the world to be obese or is my hands just 
really thin, I don't know, but I have to put a ring in front of it that won't come off to stop it from coming off. Do you know what I mean? So that's a slight fail, but I still like to wear it and I still like the look of it. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, I will do a little unboxing video of this shortly, but that's everything for this video and hopefully you enjoyed it. It won't be as long as this next month, but it's because I had my birthday recently and Christmas, but I really enjoyed going through all of that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next month, February, for um, some new content on my channel. Goodbye.